Let's practice our language skills. Please take out your red language skills packet and open up to page 307. 307. We're going to be reviewing some letters and their sounds. Let's start by writing your name and number at the top of your page. Please make sure you write one capital letter at the beginning and everything else in lowercase. Let's review the sounds that these letters make. Put your finger on number one. Can you find the letter W? The letter W makes the sound W. Would you say that with me? W, W, W. Nice work. Can you find the letter D? D. What sound does a D make? Good. D says D. Can you find the letter N? Nice job. What sound does an N make? N says N. Mm. Can you find the letter J? J. What sound does a J make? J says J. Now that we've reviewed our letters, let's begin practicing our skill today. I'm going to name a picture. I want you to think of what sound you hear at the beginning of the word. We'll write the uppercase and lowercase form of that letter on the handwriting line next to it. Let's start at the first picture. I see a picture of a door. What's the first sound you hear in the word door? D or I hear a D. What letter makes the D sound? D. D says D. Please write a capital D and a lowercase d on the handwriting line. Next picture, I see a jeep, jeep. What sound do you hear at the start of jeep? J, J. What letter makes the J sound? J, J says J. Write a capital J and a lowercase j on the handwriting line. Make sure your capital J reaches all the way from the hat to the shoe and your lowercase j stays below the belt. Next, I see a newspaper. What sound do you hear at the start of newspaper? I hear N. Mm. What letter makes the sound N? Mm? N. N says N. Mm. Please write a capital N and a lowercase n on the handwriting line. Make sure your capital N reaches all the way from the hat to the shoe and your lowercase n only goes from the belt to the shoe. Next picture. Wave. What sound do you hear at the beginning of wave? I hear the sound w, w, ave. What letter makes the sound w? W says w. Please write a capital W and a lowercase w on the handwriting line. Make sure the capital W reaches all the way from the hat to the shoe. Next picture. Web. What sound do you hear at the beginning of web? I hear w. What letter makes the w sound? W says w. Please write a capital W and a lowercase w on the handwriting line.
Next picture. Dog. Dog. What sound do you hear at the beginning of dog? D og. I hear the letter D. D says D. Please write a capital D and a lowercase d on the handwriting line. Next picture. Jet. Jet. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the word jet? J et. I hear the sound j. Which letter makes that sound? J. J says j. Nice work. Please write a capital J and a lowercase j on the handwriting line. Last picture. Net. Net. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the word net? I hear n. Mm. What letter makes the n mm sound? N. N says n. Mm. Please write a capital N and a lowercase n on the handwriting line. Let's take a look at number three. For number three, I'd like you to pick your favorite letter from J, D, W, or N. Circle your favorite letter. Now, with whatever letter you circled, I'd like you to draw two more things that start with that sound that are not already on your page. For example, my favorite letters from J, D, W, or N is the letter D. I like the D sound. I could draw a duck and a dinosaur. Those are not on my page already. For number three, please pause the video, pick a letter, and draw two more things that start with that letter. Then unpause so we can work on the back side together. You should have completed number three now with your pictures of two more things that start with your favorite letter from this group. Before we move on to the back, please dog your fold down the top corner so that you're ready for tomorrow's lessons. Then turn your page. We're going to be reviewing some sight words. If you feel like you can do this page without my help, you're welcome to stop the video and work on this on your own. For number four, please make sure you draw a picture to match the sentence. If you want to still work with me, let's get started. Let's begin by reviewing the sight words in our word bank. Read the words after me. He. Are. Are. Nice work. We have three words to use. Two of the words are the same, but one starts with a capital letter and the other is lowercase. The only reason that this word is capitalized is because it's the beginning of a sentence. Let's pay close attention to that as we work together today. Let's start at number one. We're going to read the sentence together. We're going to sound out words that are not sight words and then blend them together. We'll read the sentence twice and place the words that make the most sense in the handwriting line so that the sentence is complete. Let's begin reading. N, an, nan, and, n, at, nat, blank, at, the, the, and na, van. Nan and Nat, he at the van, or Nan and Nat are at the van, which makes more sense. Nan and Nat are at the van. Now, which of these should I use? Should I use the one with a capital A 
or the lowercase a. I should use the one with the lowercase a because this is not the name of somebody or the start of the sentence. Please write the sight word R on the handwriting line, A-R-E. Make sure to use all lowercase letters. Number two, read with me, please. Blank, d, an, dan, and p, at, pat, here. Hmm. Let's read it again with the sight word he. He, Dan, and Pat here. Hmm, that didn't really make sense. Let's try the sight word R. R, Dan, and Pat here. Yes, that makes sense. R, Dan, and Pat here. They're asking a question. Now, which R should I use? The one with the capital letter or the one with the lowercase letter? I should use the one with the capital letter because it's the start of the sentence. A R E. Please make sure you write a capital A and everything else lowercase. R, Dan, and Pat here. Let's keep reading. Number three. Blank is here. B but but she is not. Blank is here, but she is not. Well, I notice that the word that's missing is the first word in the sentence, so that means it needs to be capitalized. So we're going to look at the first two words in our word bank. Let's practice with the word he first. He is here, but she is not. Does that make sense? It does. Just to make sure, let's read it with the other word. R is here, but she is not. No, that doesn't make sense. He was the correct choice. Let's write the sight word he on the handwriting line. Make sure to capitalize the letter H at the beginning because it's the first word in the sentence. Number four, last one. Let's read together. P -a Pat and k at cat blank at at the bus. Pat and cat he at the bus or pat and cat are at the bus. R makes much more sense. Should I use the one that is capitalized or not capitalized? I should use the one that is not capitalized because the word R is not a name and it's not the start of this sentence. Let's write lowercase a, r, e, r on the handwriting line. Then we can draw a picture. Pat and cat are at the bus. We should draw a picture of Pat and cat waiting at the bus. To match the sentence, Pat and Cat are at the bus. As soon as you're finished with your picture, you can add color with detail for any part of your page that you'd like. Then, once you're finished, you're all done with your language skills for today. Thanks for reading and practicing with me.